All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I close fat deals, high ticket deals without a sales call. And when I mean high ticket, I mean 30K plus deals that I'm closing pretty much every week now. The funnel is useful content to a DM chat conversation to a close. And this is an example from a client who signed up last week. He found me through something I'm gonna show you today in this video, reached out through Facebook Messenger chat, and you can see the end of our conversation here where he just said, hey, let's go, and he signed up shortly after that. So I'm gonna share with you the process here and what it takes for you to be able to close really expensive deals like this. Before I get into that, if this is your second or more video watching on my channel and you're finding it valuable and useful, please hit the subscribe button. I have something called the gentleman's agreement, which basically means that you get to watch this content for free, but it takes me a lot of time and energy to come up with these ideas and film these videos and make it useful for you. So if you are appreciating these videos and you're finding it useful, please hit the like and subscribe button and I would really appreciate it. So let's go over to this doc here. This is actually a training I did for one of my groups. And I want you to take a look at this graphic here. So if you've played video games at all when you're younger, they always have this health bar and it looks similar to this. So think of this like the bonding bar. The more expensive your offer is, the bigger this bar is. So the bigger the, the black space is and the more that you have to fill up. Marketing is how you increase this red line here. So what is marketing? It's basically getting awareness and attracting people to your offer and getting attention. So prospecting, posting content, sending emails or sending an email, publishing videos just like this, having conversations with people in your market. Every time you do these marketing activities, you are increasing the red line. You're making people more aware about what you do and you're building up that bond with your market. The closer it is to full, the closer this red bar is to full, the easier it is to sell your offer. The less red there isn't here, the more work you're gonna to have to do on the sales call. You're gonna to have to do all those convincing and objection handling tug of war, and you're gonna to have to really work hard on the sales process when you're on the phone with the person. So if you wanna sell without the phone, you need to fill this bar up. You need to be doing marketing to get this bar as full as possible. So your job as a rainmaker, whether you're doing this for your own offers or you're partnering with a client and you're, you're doing this for them, you're doing marketing for them, you're closing deals for them, is to push the bar as close to full as possible. Push this bar as close to full as possible. This is if, by the way, you wanna sell really expensive offers without a sales call. So how do we do that? Well, you do that by dialing in the offer and doing stellar marketing. So everything I mentioned up here, basically, emails, posts, content, chats. And so stellar marketing reduces the need for pushy sales. And if your marketing is on point, sales becomes simple order taking. You just show up to the, I do this in chat. You can do this on a phone call if you'd like. But by the time a prospect is talking to me, it's very similar to this, where they just ask a few questions and they're in, even if it's a very expensive offer. So that is how the psychology around how I close big ticket deals without a sales call is I fill up this bar and I use marketing to fill up this bar. So by the time I get on a sales call or by the time I'm having a conversation with somebody, it's just a few questions back and forth and the deal is done. Now, before I show you an example of what this looks like, you need to understand the, process, the phases that a prospect goes through before they buy an offer and when they see your offer. And this can happen in a matter of seconds, milliseconds. It can also happen over a period of days and weeks and months, maybe even a year or more. So the four phases are first, there's the dopamine hit, right? Ooh, what's this? What is that? That looks interesting. The next thing that goes through their mind is how is this different? Then has this worked for anyone like me? And then, hmm, how can I be sure this will work for me? They start judging, right? I'm not quite sure. I've seen this before. So how does this break down into marketing language? Well, first, we have the obvious outcome. This is a specific claim of what your offer does in a certain time period. So what are we getting done together? You wanna to answer that question. Then we have, how is this different? So this is your unique mechanism. What makes your solution different than other solutions? It doesn't need to be a thousand times better than every other solution, it can be, but if you can make it a little different, it's gonna stand out. That's what makes it unique. So for example, what I'm sharing with you now, how to sell big ticket, deals without the phone, that's different for people who are used to just selling everything on the phone. It doesn't make it better than selling on the phone, but it does make it better depending on your situation. Maybe you don't wanna be on the phone, right? So it makes it different and unique from other offers out there. Then we have proof. 
has this that worked for anyone like me? So proof is personal or client case studies showing that your claim is true. Anybody can make a claim. Anyone can say anything they want, right? I see newbies doing this all the time. They make huge claims that they can't deliver on. You need to show proof if you're going to make a claim. If you tell somebody you're going to make them a million bucks in 30 days, well, you better have a case study or proof that you've done that before. Otherwise, you're just going to look like a fool. So proof. And then we have risk reversal. How can I be sure this will work for me? So risk reversal is just taking the risk off of the plate of the client and you're putting it on you. And this is especially important the, the newer you are in your journey. So if you don't have the proof and you don't have the case studies or anything, you need to take all the risk. You need to eat all the risk because someone has to take the risk and you don't want to put that on the client, right? If, you, if you're not getting the result, then you shouldn't be getting paid anyway. So risk reversal, you can do performance-based deals, which is you only pay me when I'm successful, or you can do things like money back and action-based guarantees. Money back is what I do on my current one-on-one. -on -one. Action-based is what I do if I'm doing like a coaching program and the client is responsible for doing the, the work themselves. So performance deals, money back, action-based guarantees, it's ranked in order of effectiveness. So performance deals, hey, you only pay me when I'm successful. That is the least amount of risk for the client because they're not paying you anything up front. Money back is the second, the second most effective because they're paying you something up front, but they can get the money back if they don't get a certain result. And then action-based is the least effective because they have to go and do a bunch of actions in order to get the, uh, the money back if they don't get the result. But this is risk reversal. You're taking the risk off the plate of the client, you're putting it on yourself, and you're making it easier to say yes to. So keep in mind the phases a prospect goes through when they see your offer, these four phases here, because this is going to help you with your messaging and crafting your offer and dialing it in and your marketing. So if you think about the bonding bar above, anytime you miss one of these four things here, you dock points and your bar gets smaller. So if you don't have proof, boom, there goes the red bar. It goes like to half or like close to zero, right? Or maybe you don't have an obvious outcome or your outcome sounds the same as everybody else. There's no unique mechanism. Okay, we're going down even more. So think about that bar at 100% and every time you dock one, you, you miss one of these things, you dock it by like 25% or whatever. Not perfect, but uh, just think of it that way. So the closer you are to 100, the easier it will be to sell your offer. Again, our goal is to get that bar as close to 100 as possible. So most offers I see, they usually only have one or two of these four. Very often they'll have a big outrageous claim or outcome that they talk about, but they don't have anything unique about it. There's no proof and there's no risk reversal. All the risk is on the client. And so another thing that I often see is they'll have an outcome plus a risk reversal, but they don't have anything unique and they don't have proof, right? You, it's going to be hard to get sales if you, if you have zero proof. That's why getting your first client is always the hardest. So if you want more hell yeses on your offers, you have to hit on all four of these things. You need the obvious outcome. You need the unique mechanism, the proof and the risk reversal. And now you have an easy yes offer if you have all those things. And you can do this effectively with a sales letter that is so useful that it's considered content. So here is an example. This is a doc that I created in the beginning of March. And this is for a new one on off one on one offer that I rolled out at that same time. And then I also had a YouTube video walking through the sales letter, for free. basically just reading over the sales letter. But this document here hits on all four of these things, right? There's an obvious outcome at the top. Boom. Then we have a unique mechanism, which is selling programs without the phone, high ticket programs without, without the phone. Boom. Number two. Number three, do we have proof? Yes. I stacked the proof right at the top here, right? So I have six case studies that I just put at the top. So we check box number three, risk reversal. I have a money back guarantee. If you don't make at least $100,000 in six months, I give you your money back on this offer. It's an expensive offer. It's a premium offer, but I guarantee if you're the right person, you come in at a minimum, you will make $100,000 in six months or I get, I give all your money back. So we've checked all four of those boxes. And to expand on this, it's a very useful document. So you can go through this. It walks you through step-by-step step what I do in the one-on-one -on -one offer if I were to partner with you on this. And at the end, there's just an invitation to work with me. So it says, hey, if you enjoyed this content, here are the next steps. And so the next steps from here is if you want to implement all these things together, you can reach out to me here, seananthony.co slash chat. 
And so this is an example of a sales letter that's useful, so useful that it's considered content because people can go through this and get a result on their own. If you wanna see this, by the way, go to phonelesssales.com. It'll take you to this doc and you can read through this on your own time. So that is how I close fat big ticket deals without a sales call is I have a dialed in offer that touches on these four things here. And I have stellar consistent marketing where every day I'm going out to the market and prospecting, I'm posting content, I'm sending out emails, I'm publishing videos just like this. I'm having conversations with my market. And by the time someone reaches out to me, it's just a quick chat conversation. Maybe they ask a few logistical questions. Maybe they tell me a bit about their situation and what they're looking for. And just like this, within a few messages, they could be in even on a very expensive offer. So if you want to see this guide, it's a more in-depth guide on how this works, go to phonelesssales.com and it'll take you directly here. And if you want my help setting this up with you, then you can see how to do that on this doc and you can reach out to me. We'll have a quick chat conversation. You'll see the process firsthand. And if I think I can help you with this system, then I'll tell you more about how that works and how to get started. But I hope you found this video useful. Remember the four things here and remember this bonding bar and you're trying to fill it up with your marketing. Okay, so hope this was useful. Hit the like button if it was. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and what you think about videos like this. And if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.